June 29th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible 1 Corinthians chapter 10 from the New Testament For I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they were all drinking from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. But God was not pleased with most of them, for they were cut down in the wilderness. These things happened as examples for us, so that we will not crave evil things as they did. So do not be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. And let us not be immoral as some of them were, and 23,000 died in a single day. And let us not put Christ to the test as some of them did and were destroyed by snakes. And do not complain as some of them did and were killed by the destroying angel. These things happened to them as examples and were written for our instruction on whom the ends of the ages have come. So let the one who thinks he is standing be careful that he does not fall. No trial is overtaking you that is not faced by others, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tried beyond what you are able to bear. But with the trial will also provide a way out, so that you may be able to endure it. So then, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. I am speaking to thoughtful people. Consider what I say. Is not the cup of blessing that we bless a sharing in the blood of Christ? Is not the bread that we break a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all share the one bread. Look at the people of Israel. Are not those who eat the sacrifices partners in the altar? Am I saying that idols or food sacrifice to them amount to anything? No, I mean that what the pagan sacrifice is to demons and not to God. I do not want you to be partners with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot take part in the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Or are we trying to provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we really stronger than he is? Everything is lawful, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is lawful, but not everything builds others up. Do not seek your own good, but the good of the other person. Eat anything that is sold in the marketplace without questions of conscience, for the earth and its abundance are the Lord's. If an unbeliever invites you to dinner and you want to go, eat whatever is served without asking questions of conscience. But if someone says to you, this is from a sacrifice, do not eat, because of the one who told you and because of conscience. I do not mean yours, but the other person's. For why is my freedom being judged by another's conscience? If I partake with thankfulness, why am I blamed for the food that I give thanks for? So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Do not give offense to Jews or Greeks or to the church of God, just as I also try to please everyone in all things. I do not seek my own benefit, but the benefit of many, so that they may be saved. God, thank you for your promises. Sometimes, well, almost always, when we're going through something that's traumatic, dramatic, painful, Sometimes we can get so caught up and so wrapped up in our world that we can't see beyond that. It was interesting when I went through Hurricane Andrew down in Miami. I saw that happen here in this world where people were so caught up with having no running water, no electricity, sometimes no houses, that this interesting thought pattern happened where they couldn't see beyond that um, they couldn't see that just five miles north of them was running water was electricity was food um, was shelter 
it was this odd mindset that I saw in, in every natural disaster I've been in since then. I've seen that that same thing happen. And and we do that with you, that when we're going through something traumatic in our life, um, problems in our marriage, job, financial, uh, whatever that looks like, we get so consumed by that that we can't, we have these blinders on, we can't even see past the situation. And you've promised us two things. One, the other people have gone through what we have gone through. Um, and that alone should be reassuring that there are other people in this world that have experienced that level of pain and and us in our arrogance like to think that nobody's been in that much pain before. But you say right here that, that they have. Um, and that you'll be faithful and you will always, always provide us a way out of that situation so that we can endure it, so that we can get through it and know that there's an ending point to it. Uh, and then of course there's various ending points um, that once we get through it, that there's still consequences. We get through it and there's no consequences. Or it's possibly a situation where we end up in heaven with you at the end of the situation. But you have promised that you will always provide us a way out in enduring whatever it is that we're going through. You are that five miles north of dead center of the, the tornado or the hurricane or the earthquake or whatever has happened in our life. The disaster, the drama that's ensuing you are the running water, you are the electricity, you are the fresh food, you are the shelter. And we need to be able to get past our filters of being so consumed by what is happening in our life and realize that there is a, a bigger piece to that. And, and you are that bigger piece. You are in control of not only that situation, but of everything in the entire world. Please, God, help us remember to focus on you when we go through those situations. To focus on your promise that in the midst of this swirling of turmoil, uh, that there is a way out. That there is a door that opens straight into your grace, straight into your mercy, straight into your forgiveness. Straight into peace that just consumes us. As opposed to this drama that we are allowing to control our lives. Thank you. In your son's name we pray. Amen.